news from our I-Team. Florida's Department of Children and Families officially entering the immigration debate. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us. DCF is making a proposed rule permanently ending its involvement in a federal program to care for migrant children. It's an ongoing controversy. Our I-Team investigator Katie Legrone first broke back in November, and tonight she has an update. This is arguably the most dramatic action DCF has taken on this issue since it began months ago. This afternoon, the state's top child welfare agency issuing a press release that states it is pulling out of a federal program and will no longer issue or renew the state licenses of shelters in Florida that care for migrant children as part of a federally funded program. This unless the feds enter an agreement with the state sharing more details about who's coming in and when. In a press release, DCF's head said in part, through its policies, the federal government has made a decision to encourage the mass smuggling of minors to the southern border without their parents. No government that claimed to care for children would ever tolerate this. The federal government's careless policies have led to this unsafe situation, and Florida will no longer be complicit in it. By ending the state's involvement with the program, the proposed rule will finally force the federal government to take full responsibility for the care and treatment of all the UAC population. All of this follows months of our exclusive and original reporting that discovered back in September, the governor issued an order directing DCF to stop renewing the state licenses of shelters and providers who care for unaccompanied kids as a way to crack down on illegal immigration into the state and what he calls Biden's border crisis. Since then, we've reported on the backlash with immigration advocates, medical experts, and faith leaders from across the state pleading with the governor and DCF not to bring children and these shelters into the middle of a political debate. This is the first time I've ever seen Department of Children and Families issue a statement that is political and partisan in nature. This afternoon, Representative Anna Eskamani, who fights for immigrant rights, responded to the announcement. It is unheard of for a state agency to engage in this type of uh, political partisanship. DCF is supposed to take care of all children, not throw punches at the Biden administration. This action only applies to unaccompanied minors, not the federal refugee program. Meantime, the feds are reviewing all options to determine if they have any legal way to fight this. Katie Legrone, back to you.